Hi everyone, NeuroGal here. For those of you who don't know me, I am a brain doctor who's on a quest to teach you more about how your brain works. If you think about it, if you can master your brain and understand how it works, you can master your life. This is what my channel is about. Today, the big topic is stress. Let's talk about stress, baby. A little stress can be beneficial, but too much stress can kill. They don't call it the silent killer for nothing. Whether you're stuck in traffic or maneuvering through a toxic relationship or workplace, or just overwhelmed by all of your daily life stressors, too much stress is dangerous and can lead to a plethora of problems, including anxiety, depression, binging on alcohol or food, and chronic inflammation in the body, which can lead to chronic diseases such as obesity and diabetes, as well as gut disorders. Today, I'm going to teach you a simple technique that uses your own neurophysiology to master stress. This technique is called enhancing vagal tone. It involves strengthening and activating the longest nerve in your body called the vagus nerve. It was actually discovered very long time ago by ancient yogis and meditators who learned that if they strengthened their vagus nerve through certain exercises, that they could control and alleviate suffering, which in our modern world equates to anxiety, depression, and all the diseases that I just talked about. In fact, yogi's mastery of vagal tone is what allows them to control their heart rate, their blood pressure, their core body temperature, and even their immune systems. So in order to understand vagal tone, one must understand a few key features about the human nervous system. Like I said before, vagal tone refers to strengthening the vagus nerve. The vagus nerve is the longest nerve in the body, and it actually comes as a pair in the human body. Each vagus nerve originates in one hemisphere and then traverses down throughout the body and through all the major organs. The vagus nerve serves as one of the major nerves in the autonomic nervous system. The autonomic nervous system is the part of the nervous system that controls how stressed or relaxed someone is. It controls the connection between physiological responses and emotions. The autonomic nervous system is split up into two major parts. The first is called the sympathetic nervous system. The sympathetic nervous system facilitates the stress response. When someone is stressed or faces a threat, the sympathetic nervous system sends signals from the brain to the other organs of the body to facilitate the stress response. It sends signals to the heart to increase heart rate, to the lungs and the diaphragm to make the breathing more rapid, to the muscles to tense up. The sympathetic nervous system also sends signals to stop digestion. So it shunts blood flow away from the gut and to your muscles because you don't wanna be spending precious energy on digesting food when you need to run away from a threat or fight the threat. The sympathetic nervous system also stimulates the adrenal glands to produce cortisol and epinephrine, which are the major stress hormones in the body. Sympathetic activity increases the immune response to increase secretion of inflammatory signals in the body. Evolutionarily, this would be advantageous to prepare against any potential pathogens because after all, viruses and bacteria in our evolutionary history have been one of the most dangerous threats to humankind. Think bubonic plague. The stress response produced by the sympathetic nervous system is obviously very important and has helped us evolutionarily survive many, many threats. However, in our modern day world of chronic stress, our sympathetic nervous systems are nearly continuously activated. This chronic activation can lead to a plethora of diseases. So we need some system to keep our sympathetic nervous system in check. Here's where the parasympathetic nervous system comes in. The parasympathetic nervous system is the second part of the autonomic nervous system. Parasympathetic activity activates the rest and digest response. In other words, it's in charge of relaxing the body. The vagus nerve is the major nerve of the parasympathetic nervous system. The vagus helps to oppose and dampen the stress response from the sympathetic nervous system. It sends signals to the heart to beat more slowly, to the lungs and the diaphragm to breathe more slowly, and to the gut to optimize digestive function. It also regulates the immune system by decreasing the release of pro-inflammatory signals in the body. 
So if you suffer from chronic stress, anxiety, depression, most likely you're dealing with an overactivation of sympathetic activity and underactivation of the parasympathetic nervous system. One very simple way to decrease sympathetic activity is with the major nerve of the parasympathetic nervous system, the vagus nerve. Strengthening the vagus nerve is called enhancing vagal tone. The concept of enhancing vagal tone to improve health has actually been studied, validated, and used in the medical field. There's a device called the vagus nerve stimulator. It's a little device that's implanted underneath the skin on the left side of the chest. It sends a wire up to the left vagus nerve and emits regular scheduled electrical pulses to stimulate the vagus nerve. I use it commonly in my epilepsy practice and psychiatrists also use it for patients with depression. Of course, there are simpler and much less invasive ways to enhance your vagal tone. So in this part of the video, I will teach you three simple techniques that you can start today in the comfort of your own home to enhance your vagal tone so that you can improve your well-being, especially when you're feeling a bit stressed or down and depressed. Number one, deep breathing. One way to increase vagal activity is by deep and steady breathing. Receptors in the lungs and the diaphragm sense the slow, deep breathing and then send signals to the vagus nerve, which sends signals to the brain to relax. So this technique is often used during meditation sessions and is very, very effective, especially when it's done consistently over a long period of time. Number two, cold showers. Another method to activate the vagus nerve is by taking cold showers. Now this technique was recently made very famous by a man named Wim Hof, otherwise known as the Iceman. The Iceman has become famous for his mastery of the parasympathetic nervous system and the vagus nerve through voluntary exposure to the cold, such as taking ice baths or running marathons and bare feet. When you expose yourself voluntarily to cold, this activates the vagus nerve and thereby activates parasympathetic activity. When parasympathetic activity increases, sympathetic activity declines. So when you feel stressed, take a cold shower, I guarantee you will probably feel better. Number three, yoga. During yoga, you're forced to maintain challenging postures. And not only that, but you're expected to engage in deep, steady breathing. Anybody who's ever exercised in their entire lives understands how difficult that is to do. Your body wants to start breathing more rapidly when you physically exert yourself. In yoga, you are expected to maintain slow, deep breathing despite these physically challenging postures. It enhances vagal tone and teaches you how to maintain equanimity during times of stress. Once you strengthen your vagus nerve enough through this deep steady breathing, also called pranayama breathing, then you can apply this technique to various stressful aspects in your life. Thanks guys for watching this video. I hope you left with a little bit more knowledge about how your brain and nervous system work. Please make sure to hit that like button and make sure to comment if you've had any experience with enhancing vagal tone. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on my videos so you can learn more about the brain and neuroscience. We'll catch you next time.